was it. And thank you very much for joining me for some more mechanical misadventures. Today we'll be continuing with our gravely walk behind tractor repower. And we're going to be taking the input gear out of this motor. That's this thing right here. Now, um, I've seen a lot of things that people have written on forums saying, oh, you can, you know, use this combination of gears, you can do that, you can buy this, you can buy that. But why would I buy anything when the input gear is right here? So we're going to disassemble this motor and harvest that gear. Um, it's a little more involved than you might think. This crankshaft, it, it's like a five-piece design. It's actually pretty nuts. If you're familiar with more modern horizontal shaft engines, you got a one-piece crankshaft, and that gear would just hang off the end of it. Not in this one. It's a, it's a part of the crankshaft. So we got to do a little bit more disassembling to get it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to take off this cylinder head and jug assembly. This crankcase is split right down the middle, but uh, the jug holds it all together. So we're not going to be able to actually crack this open and get to the crankshaft until we take these apart. These are 7 sixteenths, or excuse me, these are 9 sixteenths, and then the smaller ones for the valves are 7 sixteenths. And you can see cross hatching in there. Someone's been in here recently. That's our lifter. That's pretty interesting. Pretty nice inside for how covered in junk it is. There's just a big groove in this piston. That's wild. You never see that. Well, anyway, so looks like whatever's got this engine locked up, it's still in there. And from what I can tell by this motion, it's uh, the lower connecting rod bearing. That's what froze up on us. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We're not going to use anything here. Grab yourself a half inch. We're going to be pulling these last couple of uh, crankcase bolts off. And again, this big washer that's out of place tells me someone has been in this motor. Again, super interesting, but uh, not very practical. Here is something that has gone the way of the dodo. I wish I would see more. A case splitting tab. You see it on old stuff, but uh, not on new stuff a lot. Okay, we're missing something. Let's figure out what it is. It looks like there's this big brass uh, brass bearing right here, which is slowly coming out. I just don't think it wants to. It looks like happened is a plug or something was threaded into this brass bearing, and that's the last thing holding it in. Or you could probably take it off on this side, but um, someone used this nut to try to start it, and I don't think we're we're going to be getting that off no matter what. Um, I just don't have anything beefy enough to hold it to put the necessary torque on it. And a rattle gun would just round it right off. So we're going to drill out the bearing and see if we can't peel it off then. Now I don't know if you can see this, but uh, that bearing is now floating around in there. Yeah. So we can get it 
Actually, it looks like it's got a key sticking out. Maybe we can snag that too. So, I don't know what's holding this in. I think it might just be really stuck. Also, it might be that these uh, camshafts are pressed and that's uh, clamping everything together. Can you be, huh? Apparently exactly that stuck. Okay, thanks to uh, some geometric wizardry, I was able to get my wrench in there. Now let's see if we can actually turn it. big it is obviously I got a crescent it's bigger than a 26 my largest wrench all right that's out now we got to get a pry bar on it to get it out for realsies look you can see how much trouble I had getting it in there this is what it took squeezing it out through that gap Ooh. It's almost a puzzle. Got you, you little stinker. Oh, is that a one inch shaft? That would make my day. That would actually make it all worth it. That wasn't arduous at all. Voila, it is done. Oh, sweet. This is a one inch shaft. So it was all worth it in the end. I mean, while I was working, I was thinking that one of the input gears that people said you could use was like 40 bucks. Wondering, is this 40 bucks hassle? But uh, now that I see that this is one inch, it definitely is because so is the output shaft of the Briggs motor we've got. So we might be able to just get away with a shaft coupler right onto this, straight onto the Briggs motor. And that's awesome. That'll save us a lot of hassle, time, and probably money too. Well, anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, pretty frustrating afternoon of getting this thing, but uh, I think it was worth it all in the end.